and okay. i hope you can see me and hear me right i think the screen is little right can you move it please so i think rohan can adjust that so let's start sure sure so uh, first of all welcome everybody and a very good morning to all and uh, thank you salma for taking out time on a thursday and uh, giving us this opportunity to have a talk with you so yes. salma So, uh, Salma is a financial planner, and she's been in the industry for the last twelve years. She's been into financial planning, financial advisory, and uh, things like that. And so far, she has helped almost three hundred families, uh, you know, with their uh, financial pro problems and you know financial plans. So that's really awesome. Uh, so, Salma, why don't you give us a uh, introduction and uh, let's begin with the session. Sure. Thank you so much, Radhika, for introducing me in in a quick shell manner. So, uh, to talk about my career, uh, I started my career in 2010. So, when I started, I started with MNC called Northern Trust, which is a custodian bank uh, in Bangalore. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's when, like, you know, almost after working a year, I realized that this is what I don't want to do. so what was the work responsibility it was more of uh, you know receiving the instruction from fund managers and the execution uh, of that so it was really exciting investment all that but uh, after the year i realized that you know i'm not using my brain and i should be doing something in preparing the execution rather than doing the execution work and that's when my uh, research started that what should i be doing and uh, that's how i came to know about uh, financial planning though when i started my learning here i had not much idea but yes one thing was sure that i can take my own decision that was the basis of why i started this and uh, how can i really impact the individuals uh, and the in individuals life so that was the basis of uh, you know moving towards the person finance area okay that's that's awesome and uh, the, is there a specific reason why you picked personal finance uh okay so i myself was uh, struggling quite a bit so when i started my career after a year it was a tax filing season time so kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha tha forget i mean forget about filing planning kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha tha so i started asking my colleagues that you know what are you guys doing so they said whatever our senior has told i i we are doing that you also follow us so that's when i realized that you know there's a lack lack of literacy and uh, there were few things which was not right it which was not ethical i would say and it was being practiced there and i realized no this is not the path i want to do which means i'll have to educate myself so uh, i started exploring that what could be the thing where i can take decisions i i should be doing ethical practice uh, in my area of finance i till then i had not thought about the uh, you know this area more of profession but then by the time uh, one of my colleague who was already doing financial planning course he said that yeah this is something where you can take the decision that was thing and then i saw the syllabus all that i was very much was able to connect with that and i decided that now i have to be uh, you know financial planner i have to plan for others and i have to plan for my finances also so this is how i landed in person finance Okay, awesome. So when you decided that you know this is something that you want to do, uh, what did you do next? Like, uh, uske baad se, how was the journey like? Ha, so I started exploring to how to get into it, and uh, luckily my colleague was already doing. He had already so in financial planning you have five stages. uh you know basics of financial planning tax planning investment planning retirement planning and the final exam will be combination of all that which is like a case study so if for example you are my client in that case what what are the situations you know at your end is like one case study for me exactly the same thing used to come even in the exams so uh so uh, i'm sorry i missed your question what was the exact question yeah so i was asking once you decided ki you know personal finance ha, part, yeah उसके बाद से व्हाट ऑल व्हाट स्टेप्स डिड यू राइट सो so i had got the basic part of it that i just uh, need to do the registration and i need to get in touch with financial planning institute so uh, and then when i connected with them they gave me the road map that this is how it moves you have to write the exams five level of exams and uh, that that time even now nism is the one who conducts the exam for financial planning and once you have this financial planning uh, you've cleared all the levels then you can apply for certification but 
just clearing the exam was not it you also need to have minimum 3 years of experience in the financial industry uh, and apart from that uh, there were few more criteria which i was already fulfilling one criteria which i was not fulfilling was 3 years of work experience at that point of time i only had a one year of work experience so even after i completed the certification i mean exams everything i had to still wait for me to complete 3 years and then only i could apply for the certificate so okay. yeah yeah that's really interesting so uh, sanmar do you you know you told us about your journey so far and any specific challenges that you faced and you know how do you cover solve it any anything uh, any challenges per se while uh, studying the financial planning yeah okay. during, during study during your practice also, also uh, maybe dealing with clients anything on those lines as well yeah so let me start with the beginning when i took the study because what i understand that there will be more listener who will be looking forward to pursue this so one thing the problem what i faced was i was into full fledged job so mm-hmm. i had to take out time and i must say it is in deep learning it's not that you know thoda padhai kar lo and then go and write exam no yeah and i would say that uh, you know i'm being very open that i did not clear all my exam at one shot i had to skew right. exam at two second time i cleared it but i i was i was very much involved in it and the moment you know one or two papers when when i didn't clear i felt really bad that i am putting so much of effort still why i am not able <laughs> to clear the exams so there will be such challenges where you uh, despite you putting lot of efforts uh, you know you, you may not be able to clear the exam but but yeah this is the journey this is the journey where we keep learning and i did realize that the exams which i cleared in second attempt now the knowledge in that area was much better because you know i did the second time study more deep study right so that was challenge in the process of it the second challenge in terms of practicing while i was working with uh, uh, the companies there will be lot of uh, clients we used to have where they want quick answers but uh, you know there is no one word of quick answer for any kind of solution so if you see in uh, you know nowadays lot of people talk about financial freedom and all that and they say that they will create a portfolio which will give you the uh, kind of money which will make you financially free but being financially free is not not so simple and easy step because one can become financially free only when they are taken care of all the areas of uh, you know in all the area whatever financial need is there be it uh, as a, as a individual you will have uh, your child education you have to buy home all that just because you have now some portfolio giving you x amount will not going to make one financial freedom free so there is lot of misconception which i feel and then client per se you have to educate a lot you have to educate a lot that you have to be patient uh, patient enough to see the result there is a nothing quick which comes i feel i personally believe there's none of the area in this world which says that you know quick ho jayega so i i remember with this one uh, say you know ki kisi ne bola ki wo us wo banda to raat ho raat ameer ho gaya but you uh-huh. actually have to ask that person that how long was that night right wo raat right. jitni lambi thi wo us insaan ko hi pata hai raat ho raat koi bhi ameer ya famous nahi banta hai uske piche saalon ki mehnat hoti hai right. the same way even in investing saal lagte hain you have to give time and nothing comes for free or nothing comes very easily right right yeah so yeah i was a heard a lot of people say ki you know uska ye click ho gaya and yes. i it's like ki you no know, click nahi hota hai wo click karaya jata hai uski do teen saal ki mehnat jati hai to bhi mohit karana padta hai click so totally i agree on that uh, where you're coming from so that's very really interesting so uh, sir one uh, the next question i have is ki agar uh, if today somebody wants to start uh, you know somebody is a fresher uh, maybe in 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 college just, just right out of college or maybe we were still pursuing it and they want they are interested in the in this field in the field of wealth management so how how can they start can you know maybe you can suggest some courses or maybe you can suggest some guidelines like how how should i start if i don't know anything about it okay so uh, if first of all uh, if they are sure about that they have to go into the personal finance area yes. uh, suppose you are sure about it and then do you just want to know that how to proceed so uh, there are two ways one is that uh, if you become a sebi registered investment advisor where you have to uh, write certain exams which comes under that clear that but that also needs 
post graduation requirement one has to be post graduate one needs to have five or years of experience so keeping all this in mind one should immediately start working in the area of like you know the field related field in the financial industry itself so i would say that even if one wants to get in into it should not should not wait or should not think that my first job has to be related to it because if it has to be related to it you also need to be experienced in that in that particular industry so start your job with that start because five years of uh, you know need even if you become financial planner certified financial planner to get certified at my times i think it was three years now i think it's three years or five years i'm not too sure uh, that needs to be checked so job to karna hi padega without experience it will not तो किस तरह की जॉब्स करनी चाहिए अगर इफ टुडे आई वांट टू स्टार्ट यू नो व्हाट आर द सो आई अंडरस्टैंड कि ऑब्वियसली यू नीड सम काइंड ऑफ एक्सपोजर इन फाइनेंस इंडस्ट्री ओनली बट इफ यू इफ यू आर टू पिन पॉइंट इट यू नो दिस इज दिस यू नो सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ जॉब्स दैट विल हेल्प यू गेट द बेस्ट एक्सपीरियंस सो यू नो व्हाट आर दोस काइंड ऑफ जॉब्स व्हाई शुड आई बी लुकिंग फॉर जॉब्स इन फैक्ट इन फैक्ट as you are so clear about that you have to get into the financial uh, planning or personal finance industry you should be working with financial planners because okay. the moment you are uh, you know well, you'll get the relevant experience so even if one has to practice it you mm-hmm. already have experience in that field and you can go full fledged your own okay so yeah. one is uh, fin- working under a financial planner any other opportunity because financial planners you know if i'm if i'm not able to find in my city uh, right. in some cities in tier 2 cities we have lesser of financial planners also right. so for example if i don't find financial planners in the city what are what are the other options that i can explore? other options you can also work with uh, firms like so so uh, as a financial planner let's understand what do we do we do the we solve the problem of people in their life right. by giving them the right answers so in it's a very very simple topic right what are the problems i can face as an individual in my uh, mm-hmm. in my life when it comes to money so as a beginner suppose someone is starting the their career the mm-hmm. first problem they face that they don't know how to manage money right? right because in our education system this is not there to you know nobody teaches us about it if you even if you are finance uh, passed out bcom in finance or post graduate graduate in finance mm-hmm. you will not be taught you will talk, be taught about what is commercial uh, papers what is you know uh, stock market and all that which is not which is like it it goes from above but will you be able to implement in the your personal life the answer is no so bahut basic cheeze jo hai wo hame padhai nahi jati hai okay. so uh so so you can start with even uh, anything related to so you know these kind of problems so when it it's being personal finance we deal with money and investment so kuch bhi it any job related to investment any job related to bonds insurance yeah. industry all those kind of industry you can work with okay so, okay got it so this is the stock market uh, starting with as an analyst mm-hmm. that's when you start getting the exposure because once you are on the role uh you will have just no idea that what's happening because my first job uh, i was i was working with mnc so it was nothing related to india yeah. market so when i got there and one of my uh, colleague senior colleague said that you know this particular mutual fund i won't name that and i said what is that and she said uh, you don't even know this i was so bad i felt so bad that i am new i'm a fresher why she is talking like that so it is it will be good it will be helpful if you because when you work with your colleague also they have their own job right so they will not be able to guide you so much and uh, they is from the day one it is expected that you should know some level so right. that's why i said that if you work with financial planners if you have to go into the personal finance field that will be good otherwise you can work with the mutual fund industry with uh, with insurance industry because all together we deal with all this we deal with insurance so it's more on advisory part of it when we work as a financial planner rather than uh, selling part of it so when i worked with other companies they were sebi registered and we were into advisory 
Awesome. So that really answers my question. Uh, you spoke. So, uh, Salma, if for example now I've uh, figured out what path it is and you know how should I go about it? Uh, what is the uh, you know what kind of uh, income can I generate from you know by taking up this career? Uh, maybe in jobs or maybe through self-employment. Uh, so currently, if if somebody is interested, like what what will their pay scale be start like? मतलब entry level पे कैसे होता है five years experience पे and experience. So uh, to be very honest, uh, the industry of financial planner or personal finance is very small. Still, it's very small, but it is going very fast. In fact, yesterday there was the announcement from FPSB, which is Financial Planning Institute, that they are targeting in next five years up to ten thousand of financial planners. Right. So scope is definitely there because if you say that uh, you know SEBI registered investment advisor, there are hardly thirteen hundred and odd. Just imagine what is the kind of population we have in India. right yeah. and only those many matlab one person will be handling how many right it won't be possible so mm-hmm. the growth is tremendous however choosing this particular profession should not be based on that how much money can you earn to be very honest money will come it takes time money will come but as a if you have to start with a, a job you can definitely expect 20000 per month easily you will get 20000 per month to start with 20 to 25000 but the, Yeah, expecting beyond that will be over expectation because all the firms which is working in this area are the small firms. Okay, so the the numbers that you are quoting that is for a, a city like Mumbai, Delhi, or maybe even if even in smaller cities. Um, smaller cities, I have no idea, but I've been working with bigger cities. Number one, number two, smaller cities very rarely you will get this kind of. Yeah. Thing. Right. It's very rare, so that is another drawback that you don't have job opportunities in the small city for this. But yes, I know a few firms who have started giving. You know, uh, because now we are in a virtual world. Ab ye bhi shuru ho gaya hai ki you work from home and uh, draw the salary, do the work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Salma, you know uh, when uh, so this question came from one of my uh, the students enrolled. So uh, you know when you actually Google on uh, you know Google you check on Google there are a number of terms. There is financial planner, there is financial advisor, there is product distribution, there is portfolio manager. So there are a lot of terms and it's uh, and there is also wealth management. So can you break it down for us? You know how is it like? Is सब चीज़ का क्या? Is it different? Is it same first of all? And if if there is a difference, what is the difference? Can you break it down for us? See, financial planner and advisor is more like used in uh, you know inter interchangeably okay. that someone says advisor, someone say planner. Uh, coming to wealth manager, wealth manager more focuses on on managing money. So we. as a financial planner or advisors we work from the scratch uh, understanding even that how is your cash flow which means how is how much is your income where are you spending and the the way you are spending uh, where is the area which can be uh, reduced is that you are overspending underspending so all that even that can kind of, then it comes to understanding their goals what are the goals you want to achieve in your life whether it's retirement planning child education or wealth creation right this is actual financial planning where you work from the scratch and understand the goals and then invest based on what is your goal whereas in wealth manage management so wealth manage is a part of financial planning where one portion is a wealth creation where you give the money and they manage wealth for you there is no goal the goal is to generate return or long term return whatever you okay say. so whereas in financial planning the goal is to achieve your goal if you have to have suppose one of the goal which is worth 1 1 lakh today will be equal equivalent to maybe 3 lakh 3 years down the line then how to achieve that 3 lakh 3 years down the line is the goal for us for you know as a financial planner but for wealth manager it will be like generating that you know 5% return 10% or whatever they uh, though i think they they do not uh, guarantee and we should not be doing that also but yeah. yeah the the main purpose is to churn the money and generate money for the wealth manager so you are saying uh, financial planning is more uh, goal oriented yeah. and wealth management is for anybody who is basically who is, for example i want my money to just compound over some time so then right. in that i should right. focus on wealth management is right. it possible that uh, one person is doing both yes 
uh, very possible right yes and uh, what is uh, what is product distribution so uh, financial product distribution right so uh, uh, product distribution is like you know you sell the product so distribution nowadays there is a distribution of uh, all the financial products be it mutual right. funds so mutual funds come in two ways one one can buy through a distributor or agent another one you can buy directly from the company so this is so the one who is a distribution will be selling the product under their code which means if you buy from suppose i am a distributor and if i sell you so mm -hmm. your money will definitely grow but i also get a certain percentage of commission because i have distributed it to you so this is one stream another is insurance so if someone is selling insurance product to you if i suppose sell you then i again get certain uh, kind of commission so all this distribution work based on commission that this is the percentage of commission you get if you sell this particular scheme or th that particular scheme in mutual fund if even in the insurance again scheme wise then you have bonds also there also uh, is the same thing so it's uh, majorly these three areas where uh, one get uh, get the the distribution Okay. So earning is based on the commission only. Earning model is commission. Okay, so this is so cons uh, planning and wealth management would be more on a consultancy fee basis. Yes, and this is more from the commissions that uh, the uh, that the person will get from the mutual fund company or the insurance company. Right, right. Okay. So you even as an advisor, people have uh, two different schemes. One work fee only. And mm -hmm. another work uh, with fees plus uh, commission model, which is now not allowed in India um, as per SEBI regulation. But still, a lot of people are practicing that. I think slowly, slowly it will start reducing once SEBI becomes more strict on this line. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Salma, uh, if. So, uh, you know, while I was researching, I found out that in India, we have a couple of courses for practicing. So there is CWM, there is CFP, and then you also have some NISM certifications. So can you give us some clarity on that side? Ki, uh, you know, if uh, what courses are mandatory, one, uh, what courses are not mandatory, but they, they give you a very good base. Uh, can you give us some clarity on that side? Okay, so when it comes to practicing, so if we go with the standard of India, which the rule which SEBI has said that you need to have uh, post-graduation in finance field, you need to have five years of experience, you need to have certification. So certification in NISM, there are two certifications for, for as an advisor, if you one wants to practice that, uh, which is level one, investment advisory level one, level two. Uh, these two exams, if someone is clearing, is already a postgraduate, five years of experience, then they can apply for this. Uh, so this is the mandate if you have to follow the, I mean, you should be following, not you have to, there's no choice. You have to follow the rule and do this. But then um, I personally have taken the investment advisory uh, exams level one, level two, but it's not that deep. It's not that deep. So if you really want to get deeper, then certified financial planning is the answer. Because okay. that's really indeed, if you really have to solve people's problem, you need to have in deep knowledge. Because while even I was, I was just, uh, so I did CFP in 2013. And recently, uh, last year, I took the investment advisory level one and two. I was feeling that uh, it's so much of difference, like gap, uh, you know, in the learning that people who are just doing this, how are they able to, uh, you know, really plan uh, on the basis of only this much of information? Yeah. So exams are tough, no doubt about that. Uh, but uh, in deep learning, you can get only when you are certified financial planner. Yeah. yeah. So CFP is something that has uh, that you suggest has a very very uh, in depth curriculum uh, to be, maybe you know get started in the field. So right. uh, and NISM is required by SEBI. So that is like a right. yeah. So NISM to karna hi padega. But if one uh, with with that also one can do. But one if one has to really grow well, should also have a CFP. And C CWM is also similar to that. I have not done that. It was not required for me. But I have not even seen the curriculum. Yeah, that's um, a fairly new course. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that uh, answers my question. Uh, one more thing, uh, Salma, I have is so, uh, for example, I am uh, you know taking up these courses. I am also working in some companies, and you know I am trying to uh, build my skills. So, what are, can you pinpoint like four, uh, four or five pillars, or uh, you know, or key areas that one should really focus on? Uh, anything that you can suggest? Focus on uh, getting in this career. 
as as a job or as a as a entrepreneur so basically from a learning point of view maybe i should focus on mutual funds tax planning like do we have pillars content wise do we have pillars that are that you should um, you know should have a very strong base on definitely mutual fund because nowadays even the, uh, the if you see how in depth it is like in terms of penetration in india is very low uh, it has a huge scope and uh, this is something which works work, works more like a, a stand alone product where one can link their goals as a financial planner as i said we work more on uh, you know goal based investing right. so when we i was practicing uh, rather than than practicing i would say i was in job that's what we were doing we used to uh, uh, recommend the mutual funds itself uh, for the goals insurance to be done only for uh, you know risk related rather than investment no in insurance is not a good product but one needs to learn deeper that how exact why i can say this so confidently because i have cleared insurance exam i know what what exactly it is cfp itself has a one uh, subject on insurance planning so that's must and risk cover people uh, a lot of people talk about uh, investment and growth but they don't talk about risk so that's one area which is very much big time missing uh, that needs to be learned uh so this is really helpful uh so asma this is the last question that i have so what is this one piece of advice that you would want to give all the uh, you know young uh, people who are actually entering this field and thinking about entering so like any piece of advice from your side right so it looks tough uh, when you when i the thing is that look what is your interest at present don't look what is the kind of salary or pay you can get from that if your area of interest is good uh, then uh, you know it, it can go like very fast uh, here i would like to share my story that uh, you know so now what i'm doing at present i'm more sharing data uh, i'm into uh, spreading financial literacy mode and i have my youtube channel financial goal matters so if any of the student would want to see that how, what are the type of questions we deal with right if they want to get more uh, knowledge in that terms to understand that how financial planner uh, you know actually unka kaam kya hota hai so they can subscribe and keep watching my videos it is going to really help in their career to understand whether that's going to be the area of interest for them or not uh, apart from that i have a blog where i write uh, Uh, and then keep sharing so that that is what i am doing right now but before that when i was working and uh, uh, for the organization that's what i'm sorry your question i i mean while i talking i forgot <laughs> no problem i was i was asking you any piece of advice that you have for me yeah. yeah so so look at the area area which you want to work uh in ha huh. so the story which i wanted to share that when i left my last job after that my previous boss contacted me three times first time she said that uh you know this much pay second time she said uh, then i said uh, ma'am I'm, i'm working uh you know in the financial literacy area youtube and all that i would want to start i i want to spread knowledge and all that i want so uh, if i start the job i will not be able to really put time there so that's how i said no second time again third time she said uh, so second time also she came with some packet ctc this much then again i said no for then third time she said uh, you know there is no package whatever you see <laughs> so if you are good at knowledge if you are good at handling this you know there is no limitations so look at the area which you are interested in learn deeper one thing you ask me one i'll also tell you two more second thing that people handling is very important so when when someone is working uh, like this you have to deal with the individual client so how to deal with that second thing very important third is presence in social media nowadays it's not something that uh, you know we hardly used to be in social media earlier but right. now everybody and you have to create your own personal brand so when you start creating brand for yourself you will get lot of opportunity also in like a job and also as if you are service provider you will get a lot of opportunity there as well so right now what we are doing we are also now in social media platform talking about that uh, these three things i mean i would in fact say social media is the most so, so just don't post your photos but also post your learnings what you are doing all that because people are interested to learn from each other right okay. so these three things
so that's really awesome uh, uh we have like a lot of clarity on this career now uh, what i'll also do is uh, so salma has a you her youtube channel she also posts like good really good content on linkedin where we can actually learn like one of her videos i saw was how you can uh, you know whether should you pay your debt or whether should you invest there's a very simple trick that she gives you so there is a lot of content that she posts also she has blog so i'll i will uh, put everything down in the description box so you guys can check it out you can also connect with her on linkedin and maybe if you want to uh, discuss further she is also there on uh, our platform so even on our app you will find her so uh, she's very accessible and if you have any questions we will also if you connect with her so uh, uh, that's a real much insight from your side uh, really you will help our students uh, thank you so much and uh, we will uh, we will schedule another uh, another live interview with you again so uh, thank you so much and uh, any any ending notes that you have yeah so last thing the way two ways to learn first learn with your experience that takes lots of time second thing is learn from the experienced people which reduces the learning curve and i must say when i was talking to you uh, in the initial stage radhika and you said that you have to help students to understand which field they want to opt for because personally me i tried being ca i tried being uh, then i then i did mba in finance and then i uh, was also into distribution then i also uh, now i'm in doing content creation um, mm. before that i was into advisory so it's a lot of learning curve it may take a lot of time to you know decide so if you are talking to five different type of people like today i am talking tomorrow some other person talks with their experience itself the the learning curve will be shortened a lot and you will save a lot of time also uh, rather than experiencing so i really appreciate zebra learning is has taken this initiative of clarifying that which is the field they should be choosing on and uh, and guys keep learning learning never stops so yeah that's yes so we try to be uh, lifetime learners that's how uh, that's how you put it so that's a great session thank you so much salma thank you for your time and thank you so much for you know uh, just helping us out with all the questions thank you so much uh, anything else comes from the Thank you so much. So uh, guys here we'll end this session and see you guys next time.